of Music City, live from Liberty Hall at the historic factory at Franklin. Music City Roots is on the air. We're going to have a good time. A night of special five artist night featuring a former man at work who's still at work, a rising star of hard edge traditional country music, a veteran eclectic folk rocker. New grass from the great Midwest and an Indiana sm- songsmith who recently made Nashville his home. It's a big night, live on the radio and the web. Let's get things started with a song from and a salute to our musical host. He's back. He put the, what? The con in Americana? And the tree back in country? I know it says try, but that doesn't work. There's no can in Americana. Okay, the can in Americana. And the try back in country. Here, <laughs> he's contrary too. Here's Jim Lauderdale. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. I've missed you so bad. <laughs> missed you too. Um, Yes, I missed you guys last week. I was out on the road in Texas, but I had a great Making time. Making the big bucks. I was out promoting the, the new country run. That's right. That's right. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll do a song from that record, and I appreciate you playing it so yeah. much that this changes everything. This is a song I wrote with a friend of mine named Frank Dykus. That you're on starts breaking up And the blue sky starts caving in If there's slack in your life That needs some taking up And your arms are empty again Welcome to Music City Roots, live at the factory here in Franklin, Tennessee, and we are live on the radio, Roots Radio, that is, 89.5 FM, WMOT, and it wouldn't be live radio without a professional announcer, and we've got one of the best in the business, our paragon of the podium Mr. Keith Milbury. Wow, what an introduction. 
He's not much for a bad pun, though. We haven't. We got to keep working on it. What's a, what's a, what's a paragon? Um, I <laughs> I don't know. Bad. I was. Uh, I mean, yeah. what do you think it is? I, I mean, know. I. It's something good, I know, or you wouldn't have said yeah, it. That's right. that's right. It's real good. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not the only voice you'll hear tonight. That's a paragon right No, away. no. We want you to get to know our artists and the guy who's been doing that in our chat room for more than seven years is journalist and show producer Craig Havighurst. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Jim, Keith. Yes, these stools, they're empty now. But before too long, we will have musical people on them. That's I'll right. I'll ask them questions, and they will tell stories. And it usually goes very, very well, almost every time. It does. So welcome, everybody. There's a great big crowd in Liberty Hall tonight. We're thrilled to see you for our second show of 2017. We have a tremendous Blackstone Brewery lineup that I'll tell you about in just a minute. I uh, get to say thanks, as always, to Soul Shine Pizza, because... They feed the crew every week. You know that, Jim? That they bring pizza over. I got one, a, a slice today. I happen to be here at noon. Good timing for me. And uh, everybody ate it with their hands like a proper pizza, not with a knife and fork. <sighs> and uh, the, we, the reason we, they, they help us out is because they've just moved into Franklin. Soul Shine is now at Berry Farms right down here, just a couple miles away. So you need to get pizza hot out of the oven. You can go join them before a show sometime. And we appreciate them. Blackstone Brewery, they bring you a tap room up there at 2312 Clifton Avenue, and they're the oldest craft brewer in Music City, um, and it's now Beer Town USA, right? We're just, we've got more breweries than you can count, but the original and best is Blackstone. And uh, the lineup tonight uh, features a fella who uh, we did mention as the, the man at work who's still at work, carved out a tremendous solo career, recording uh, regularly on Compass Records. He is here later tonight, Colin Hay. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah. A first-timer for Music City Roots. We've been trying to get him for a year. Uh, country music from Cody Jinx. Yeah. I knew it. Because he brings the somber fans in. Uh, we got some tremendous progressive bluegrass music. Give him a, give a big Cody Jinx welcome to Old Salt Union. Yeah. <laughs> And up in the second set, an emerging artist and a tremendous singer. Boy, he sounded great online. We'll get to hear him live in person from right here in Music City, Jesse Kramer. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of this fellow opening the show. So, Jim, do the honors. All right. Well, friends, our first guest tonight doesn't just draw from various old school genres of music. He mingles emotional folk intuition with a brilliant mind for lyrics and social observation. And he's been a celebrated rocker and an admired troubadour. And we're thrilled to have him back here at Roots. Please welcome Peter Case. Yes, Thank you, Jim. That was nice, man. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to start off with a, a song got requested by the people at the very front of the line. There you are. <laughs> This is, a, this is a song by the Nobel Laureate they wanted to hear. And uh, it's called Long Time Gone. side of Texas, out on the western plains, looking for a job of work, they said I was young at age, but my eyes they burned when I heard go home where you belong, I've been a long time coming, I'm gonna be a long time gone, now I'm not gonna be. Rambling round with the 
carnival trains Different towns, different people, somehow they're on the sea I remember children's faces best, I remember traveling on I've been a long time coming, I'm gonna be a long time gone well, I once loved a fair young maid And I ain't too big to tell If she broke my heart a single time She broke the ten or twelve Well, I walked and talked all along I didn't tell no one I feel a long time I'm coming Many times by the highway side, I tried to flag a ride. With bloodshot eyes and grit and teeth, I watched the cars roll by. Well, the empty air hung in my head, I was dreaming all that long. I've been a long time coming, I'm gonna be a long time gone. So if you see me on your streets as I go passing through Remember me the way you wish as I go drifting from your view I ain't got time to think about it, I got too much to get done I've been a long time coming, I'm gonna be a long time gone Now I'm coming If I could help somebody with just a word of song But I can't help nobody see exactly where they're wrong Cause I ain't no prophet and I ain't a prophet son I'm just a long time coming I'm gonna be a long time gone Long time coming You can have your beauty, it's skin they bet on the lies. You can have your youth and watch it rot before your eyes. Just give to me my tombstone with that clearly crowd to find. He was a long time coming. He's gonna be a long time gone. Bob Dawn song, long time gone. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. I need to get a little bit more of the vocals up here on stage a little bit. And uh, any questions so far? Uh -huh. Well, we'll talk about that after the show. Here's one I wrote about, you know, Jimmy Rogers. He had Waiting on a Train, but this is a song set over in set right now. It's off my newest album called Highway 62, but the song's called I'm Waiting on a Plane. They shut the gate the inbound's late There's no one here I'm trying to get it straight Ain't going nowhere I'm waiting on a plane Flight's been and gone Next one's at dawn The tarmac's where The light drags on and on I gave up cigarettes Now I 
I'm waiting on a plane I've gone as far as I could go On till tomorrow I swear I'll give back what I owe Everything I stole to borrow Can't drop its moan A tune unknown Fluorescence play At dawn and flash the star USA Today And I'm waiting on a plan you do I'm gone so much I know you feel it too back what I owe, everything I stole, well I only meant to borrow, I paced the floor, and watched the door, I never quit, is that what dreams I for? I'll keep you song about a place up in Northern California called Pelican Bay. It's right on the border of Oregon. And you would think that uh, it's a beautiful area, but it's the site of one of the biggest sec maximum security prisons. They got 8,000 people in there in solitary confinement. So uh, this song's called Pelican Bay. Well, a convicted full-time burglar made a prison break. He lasted three weeks on the run, got as far as the next day. So they brought him back and sentenced him to 15 years of hell. Sent him to the shoe at Pelican Bay in a solitary cell. They said there's nothing to it, to himself as they slammed the door. Bed and not much more. It's the Pelican Bay Supermax. Count it, count the days of endless isolation, lost in a one-room maze. Now there's two million people in prison down in the USA. And if I said a Supermax and a hundred strike on Pelican Bay, day and night. The rest of the light, the window for the sun. They shove your boot in through a slot so you never see no one. It's a 23 hour lockdown under their control. You never leave, you can hardly breathe, it rots away your soul. Now there's two million people in prison tonight in the USA. 80,000 in solitary and a hunger strike on Pelican Bay. Well, 
he made himself a chest set out of black and lint. But the guards were feeling angry, so they confiscated it. Bought the slightest of infractions, extracted from the cell. Pretty soon he's got a broken jaw, the guard just says he's fair. It ain't no kind of justice, it's a system of abuse. There ain't no courts watching over it, politicians say, what's the use? We got the highest rate of incarceration in the world, half the prisoners are black. It's a brand of slavery, everybody loves the deck is stacked. Now there's two million people in prison in the USA. Thank you very much. I'm going to switch our guitars here. Uh-oh. All right. Okay, here's a kind of an older song for me, but people haven't really heard it. The road I've been on since I was two I just found out that it don't go through The day passed, my ship came and went The apocalypse is over and I still owe rent They say love begins when the heart turns stone Prayer is learned when you can't go on But my heart is rock and my road is blind Etc. She says, so what? I don't care. Laughs at the mention of underwear. Gets mad and pouts when it's time to eat. I'm afraid you run out in the street. Well, I'm in charge, but I get there late. I may be large, but I hesitate.
Circle Jazz, etc. All right, I got one more for you. This is a little thing. It's called Manana Champin. And what that means is manana, obviously Spanish for uh, um, tomorrow, and champion, that's Popeye for uh, champion. And uh, tomorrow's champion. To the procrastination champions of the world Put off everything till doomsday And the last trumpet sounds Then along comes love The magic chancellor, the dynamite Stirs you from sleep like some volcano in the night And it's got you wondering, what is it? Is that time enough to fight? Manana champion Someday you'll go free Right now you're sad as you can be What you gonna do? Trailer on the desert doesn't sound so bad If she's with me, I can live in the zoo Do you know what I mean? Sweet mama wraps her arms around me There's nothing I couldn't do Take on the whole world Get in a shootout with the cops Rob banks, who knows where it's gonna stop Make the most of every day And give it all away, that's been the deal Fight up to the top Man, you a champ Someday you'll go big oh, Right now you're sad as you can be What you gonna do? darkened house where everyone's asleep there's still one light that burns it's tomorrow's champion all alone and dreaming of another world while the real one turns the time has come to navigate make this thing take off and fly you only live once or twice now listen king this time i promise you everything forever really is gonna be all right mayana Someday you'll go free But right now you're sad as you can be What you gonna do? Let's hear it for the great Peter Case. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Peter Case, everybody, let's hear it for him. Yeah. Ah, oh, boy. I'll tell you what, Keith, I, I 
Sure missed y'all last week. And well, uh, we missed you. And of course, I, gosh, I had, you know, a lot of great food down there in Texas. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me uh, you had a stomach virus or something. No, no. let's not be hasty. Let's not okay. jump to okay. conclusions. Okay. But I'll tell you, I, I, I had a lot of great food down mm-hmm. in Texas. You know, it's famous for the food, but I was homesick for something else, too, while I was gone. Uh-huh. And, uh, Maybe some Puckett's food? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Maybe some of that uh, peach cobbler we had tonight? All right, those yeah. pork chops? Oh. Oh. Uh, listen, I'm going to leave you here, Keith. Okay. You do. You, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. Get yeah. up there before they fold it up there. Well, you don't buy a diamond every day, but when that special time comes, just remember you've got good friends in the diamond business who just happen to have a product on the cutting edge of the diamond industry. And go to the web at star129.com to learn why and how the Star 129 was created to literally outshine ordinary diamonds. Take a look at those before and after photos of diamonds that were recut into Star 129s. They are absolutely stunning. Now, here in Nashville, the Star 129 is available at Forster's Diamond Outlet. If you're in the Hickory Hollow neighborhood, stop by and see a live comparison. You will not believe your eyes. Now, if you're not in Nashville, you can find a list of Star 129 dealers all around the country at star129.com. And as a matter of fact, Bob Forster's here tonight. Uh, He's probably got some samples in his pocket that he wants to pass out. So, yeah. uh, So, I was trying to talk him out of one over here on the side of the stage a minute ago. But, nope, 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 no, no diamonds to the help. I know. I know how it is. Well, speaking of Valentine's Day, we were talking about that, weren't we? We want to announce a very special edition of Music City Roots. I am so pumped about this. February 11th, Saturday, mark that on your calendar. Now, that's the Saturday before Valentine's Day, and it will be very first and much anticipated big band edition of Music City Roots at the beautiful War Memorial Auditorium, downtown Nashville. You can take a trip to the jazzy, romantic 1940s era roots with some of our favorite roots artist accompanied by a 20-piece Nashville Jazz Orchestra. John Cowan's going to be there. The McCrary Sisters. Daryl Scott. And one more special guest. Oh, can I announce that? I I think John said I could. Elizabeth Cook is going to be with us. So uh, you don't want to miss that. Custom big band arrangements of some of their original songs, as well as favorites from the great songbook of that era. Now, it's Saturday, the 11th of February at the historic War Memorial Auditorium, which makes it even greater. There are two great buildings in this town. Well, there's many more than that. But to me, the Ryman and the War Memorial are just two iconic halls, and that's where we're going to be at the War Memorial Auditorium. Tickets went on sale today. You can find the link at musiccityroots.com, or you can go to wmot.org, or you can go to the War Memorial uh, website and check that out, but we hope you'll be there. I know that, uh, uh, Craig, you you and John Walker are take, actually taking dance lessons, I understand. <laughs> Together. Yeah. Yeah. You I'd should like see to, us. I'd like to see that, boy. I, We're going to have a good time on February Oh, 11th. I can't wait. I, I'm dusting off my tuxedo. I'm National a, Jazz Orchestra I'm is slick something back else. And too few people get to see them, so I, yeah. it'll be a treat to blend our good. audience with their audience and have a big night. going to be good stuff. Well, folks, we do the interviews uh, between sets here. We really love to get, our, get to know these artists. And Peter Case has a story to tell. So please welcome back to the stage, Peter Case. Very cool occasion. Over there is a reissue of Peter's solo album, solo debut album from 1986, right? Uh, just, yeah, they were on there. Yeah, it's my <laughs> first album came out again this year. It's a 30-year anniversary of... Uh, my first album, it's a record that T-Bone Burnett produced um, right as I left the band, The Plimsolls, and uh, it's, got, it's got a bunch of players on it, like uh, you know Jim Keldner and Roger McGuinn is on there, and Van Dyke Parks, and mm-hmm. a bunch of people played with, played with me down there on making that record. It was sort of a change for me, because I'd been playing with the um, Plimsolls, but this was a song of, uh, it was like a singer-songwriter type record. Well, yeah, carry us into that uh, journey a little bit. Plimsolls broke up, and then how did you reconfigure your, your life and your songwriting? Well, I just never stopped, you know. I've been writing songs ever since I was 11. I wrote my first song in 1965 for The Girl Next Door. It was called uh, Stay Away From Me, I'm No Good For You. And I guess it worked. I haven't seen her for like 50 years now. But, uh, 
So that was a success, and I just kept going from there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Love songs. They always, always work. You, uh, how'd you, how did you know uh, T-Bone? How did that come together? I knew T-Bone from the club situation out in uh, 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 California. We were all playing the same clubs. In fact, he asked me who produced A Million Miles Away, and he wanted to have that guy produce his new record. And he said, I sent this guy down to produce his record, and they had a big fight in the studio. Sorry, <laughs> T-Bone. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but then I liked T-Bone. We just hit it, kind of hit it off, and uh, we had a lot of the same interests. So I went down to Texas with him, and I, uh, I wrote most of the songs for that first record in Fort Worth. Really? Okay, so you had uh, been making both uh, sort of punk rock and pop punk and, and, and pop music with, uh, with the Plimsolls, and did you feel like it was time to do a kind of refresh? Did you think of yourself as going more into a roots singer-songwriter kind of situation? Well, I'll tell you, man, uh, for starts, like all those labels are kind of, like, the, I don't, the nerves were like before punk rock, you know, like we, 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 <laughs> we put on the first punk rock shows in Southern California, but we were before punk rock, and then we put a lot of those bands on our shows before, you know, it all happened, and we were the first band to tour nationally without a record company, you know, it was like an independent thing, and then the Plimsolls were like just a rock and roll band, you know, but songwriting was the thing that ran through all three of them, and, and uh, I always, I grew up as a kid, you know, uh, after, you know, I, I had two two big sisters in my family, and they were both teenagers when I was a young kid. And so at first they had like all, you know, like Elvis and uh, Everly Brothers and all that stuff, and I loved all that. And then they came home from college with Bob Dylan and Joan Baez, so I loved that too. Okay. So I, all that stuff to me, was all, I got into the Beatles and the Stones, and it all kind of like added up to loving songs, songwriters, and singers. And what about these days? How, what's keeping your songwriting fuel fired up? And you had the record Highway 62 a couple of years ago, and we last saw you. Uh, what's sort of defining what you want to do now? Well, I just try to write about the world that I see uh, uh, around right now. I still love writing songs as much as I ever did. In fact, maybe more, and I'm really into it, you know. And uh, I'm just always, I'm on the, you know, it, like I was just talking with one of the guys from the band backstage, and we were saying, like, are you always thinking about the next record, you know? And I'm always trying to write, like, the perfect song and make the perfect record. And, um, you know, you keep on thinking, this is it, this is it. And then you get done with it, you go, I'm going to do another one, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to write songs about now and write about life now and really try to, you know, um, with some, the word of the Unitarians say, uh, trying to re-enchant the world, you know, one record at a time or something right. like that. Did, uh, was Pelican Bay, I love that song, did that come off Highway 62? Was that a recent Yeah, that's recent off song? Highway 62. Now, the idea about Highway 62 is, like, you know, you got Bob Dylan on Highway 61. It has nothing to do with it. Highway 62 is the longest east-west highway that connects Mexico with Canada. Not too many people know about it. How many people know about Highway 62? So <laughs> it starts in, in El Paso, right across the bridge from Juarez, and it goes up through Buddy Holly's hometown, Lubbock, you know, and then it goes through Woody Guthrie's hometown, you know, Okima, and then it goes to the Everly Brothers hometown, Center City, oh, wow. uh, Kentucky, and it goes through Fayetteville, you know, Levon Helms' hometown, it goes up through Columbus, um, Highway 62 goes through Columbus, Phil Oaks' hometown, and then it goes through, it just happens to go through my hometown, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it it, I did grow up one block off of then it. Then it goes you know? to Canada? And then it goes up to about 500, a, 500 yards from the um, uh, uh, Niagara Falls. It must take a sharp left turn at some point then. Yeah, the short left turn is right about <laughs> right, right north of here somewhere. I like that. Yeah. That's uh, when, they, when, when highways weren't so predictable. Uh, great, man. It's good to have you back here. love hearing your songs Thanks, always. Man. Thanks for doing Paradise, etc. I love that song. Uh, that, I do, I do. It's from the Flying Saucer Blues record, folks. Peter Case, one more time. We'll see Thanks, you again everybody. soon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Keep hanging out with us. Stage left, looking resplendent in red sparkles, Allie Sutton. Welcome, Allie. Thank you so much. It is time for a word from our very fine sponsor, Vietti Chili. One, two, one, two. Vietti Chili, it's all natural. Vietti Chili, yeah, it's gonna warm your soul. Beans are without Louisiana hot dog chili mac is also good. In Nashville, there's only one name. You are listening to Music City Roots on Roots Radio, 89.5 FM Murfreesboro, the pride of Middle Tennessee State University, 100,000 watts of pure Americana. Vianney Chili! Thank you, guys. Now we're going to get back to the show with Mr. Jim Lauderdale. Thank you, Allie. Let's give a big hand to Allie Sutton and her friends up here. Well, folks, new generations continue to migrate 
to Nashville from all over the country and all over the world to refine their sound and sharpen their skills. And the artist at hand came from Indianapolis, and he's making Music City his base as he lights up stages around the southeast in our Middle Tennessee area. Here's a Music City Roots debut from Jesse Kramer. Check, check. I'm being a little bit taller than I guess everybody else right now. Nashville slash Franklin, how we doing? Y'all are beautiful out here. So how many of you are here to see Cody James? 
Man, I tell you, he's one of my heroes. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be on the stage. When I promise tomorrow Or the end of today Time is just borrowed And every breath you take If we can just live And for the moment Then we'll learn Just a vessel with no control. I've drifted so far from the shore. If you fought me completely, consumed by these waves, just know I've chances before it's too late and as the wind dances that'll carry you away if we can just live and for the moment Just a vessel with no control. I've drifted so far from the shore. If you fought me completely, consumed by these leaves, just know I've learned of these. Take a moment and realize that we all live by grace. <laughs> they will know to learn to love these days. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Again, my name is Jesse Kramer. Y'all can find me at jessekramersound.com. Thank you. You know, being 20, this is, a, this is kind of a uh, pretty cool show to come up here and do this, you know? This song is called Same Old Stars. I wrote this before I left home. I've been on my own since 16. And uh, I know that no matter where I am, I can always look up at the sky and see the same old stars I did back at home. So it's kind of a reminder for me.
remember our first time in Nashville, right? Maybe we don't. My first time in Nashville, uh, I got word that Merle Haggard had passed away, and um, I figured I'd wrote a song about it, so this song is called First Day in Nashville. I was just a young boy, the music was calling me. The place I go was Nashville, Tennessee. So I lived check by check, trying to chase a dream. That's when I fell in love with Broadway to make history. That hoggy from Muskogee, that boy could sing. I hope he's of his soaring on the silver wings. Oh, I never let down. Mama always tried. My first day in Nashville, the girl had goodbye. Remember, bought me a 
Two cheap guitars, six old Russian strings It didn't take me long to learn how to write and sing And it was in my heart and my soul to get up on that stage And break the rules from these shackles And battle up the kings out of Oki from Miss Oki And how they both the same I hope he's up a sewing on the seven wings. Right, never let down. Mama always tried. My first day in Nashville. Girl, had your guy. I stand up on the stage on the neon light. I remember a silver we go on in the day he took his flight. When a song hits home, it means so much more. It takes a hold of your spirit, Lord, and it makes one soul that ogie from Miss Ogie. How the boy can say, I hope he's on the soaring. On a civil wings, I never let down. Mama always tried. My first day in Nashville, a girl had her die. My first day in Nashville, a Thank you so much. It's three in the morning My soul won't stop groaning The change is still yet to come And promises are as empty as your bank account And you're hoping one day this will all turn around You're trying to talk to God But your prayers are never heard You spent four The demons you gain remind you of the pain And that's why the whiskey burns The feeling starts becoming numb Tomorrow's hell to pay Cause today didn't get enough Cover up, and that's why. Oh, that's why the whiskey burns. You try looking in a mirror to make it more clearer of why the hell you still hurt. The wounds are never healing, the fire is still will. That's why the whiskey burns Your feeling starts becoming known Tomorrow's hell to pay Cause today didn't get enough Your spirit is all dried up The pain leaves you naked Cause that's your cover up And that's 
so much. I appreciate it. My name is Jesse Kramer. Thank you. Jesse Kramer, everybody. That's great. Thank you. You heard him here first, folks. You're going to be hearing a lot from this young man. Thank you. Congratulations. Jesse Kramer. That was fantastic. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we, we showcase a lot of uh, great new young artists, and I'll tell you what, he's, he's terrific. I think that score is a scald. What do you think? That does, think doesn't it, folks? Isn't he great? Yeah. You know that Bill Edwards on WMOT, he's on every morning with, uh, what is that? Oh, John Walker. He's, he's always stealing his line, man. Who put the scald on? That's that. That's him, Jim, Jim Lauderdale's line. Anyway, you're listening to WMOT 89.5 FM, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Franklin, Middle Tennessee's Roots Radio, 100,000 watts of pure Americana. So happy to be live on the air with our new partners at WMOT. We're working together to bring you all the great music from the artists that you've come to know and love when we're practically 24-7. Speaking of which, we'd like to thank our sponsors at Acceptance Auto Insurance for not only supporting Music City Roots on our nationwide PBS television series, but now bringing you the Acceptance Auto Insurance Morning Ride, which I was referring to with our own John Walker and Bill Edwards weekdays from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I come on next from 9 to noon, and I got to tell you, Bill and John have way too much fun bringing you all the music news and traffic news you need for your morning ride. Acceptance takes pride in delivering auto insurance, even to the folks who have had some, well, let's say challenges with their automobile insurance. Now, more about that later. For now, just remember you can learn at acceptance.com. You, your terms, accepted. And now, let's go back over to the chat room, and there's Craig Havakhurst. Thanks, Keith Bilbrey. Hey, folks, please welcome a fellow who's just had an amazing track record in music. We've been watching him for a long time, and in many different guises. Colin Hay is here. Welcome to Music City Roots. Nice to be here. Yes, sir. Remember watching you on MTV back in my day. Oh, where are all these people? Are they not arrived yet? <laughs> Yeah, they must be the producers or something. They must be the owners of the show. Owner's box. So, Colin, are you a Scotsman from Australia or an Australian from Scotland? I'm a little unclear. I'm really an American. <laughs> from, uh, we'll claim you. We'll claim you. From, uh, from Scotland and Australia. Mm -hmm, okay. You grew up in Scotland, though, right? Till I was 14. Mm -hmm. Then my mother and father said, right, we're off to Australia. <laughs> and uh, lived there for over 20 years and uh, I ran away from Australia. Okay. I ran away from all my friends. So I, I, um, I ran away to Los Angeles in around 1989 and I've been there mm -hmm. ever since. Okay. But, the, but men at work formed uh, all Australian guys, right? That's formed, formed there. Yes, was it a, very was much it so. Sydney, from Melbourne? The, uh, where from, were you? Uh, from Melbourne town, Melbourne, yeah. which is a great music town. Totally. We've been hearing, uh, we, got to, we got to visit uh, Australia, Tamworth and Sydney a few years ago, and, but the bands were but from But you didn't for, make it. Well, they were you from Melbourne. You didn't make it to Melbourne. We didn't. And I'm dreaming of it because some of, some of the artists that we've most admired, that's where they say the action is. So. Well, you know, there's lots of things going on everywhere, but Melbourne is a great music town, especially 
When we were coming up, there were some fantastic bands around then. It was a great late 70s, early 80s was, was fantastic. Okay. How much of the emphasis, uh, I know you're, you, you, you know, Nashville takes songwriting seriously, you take songwriting seriously. When you were forming bands and the, you saw people around you, was, was songwriting the front and center or was the, the sound and the feel and the scene more the leading thing? And how did it affect you? I was just trying to stay out of the workforce. <laughs> it's basically the, the brief that I gave myself. Yeah. Stay out of the workforce for as long as you can. Sure. So I uh, started playing music and uh, I started writing songs when I was about 14. It took about 15 years for them, for me to feel that they were any good. Okay. And um, the great thing about having a band is that you can write a song on a Tuesday and then you can be playing it that night. So there's right. an immediate vehicle for the songs, you know. Sure. But we never, uh, we just really wanted to make a record. We didn't really quite know how to do it. Sure. But, um, yeah. but we had a great live following. And the live following was what really kept us going. The live audiences kept growing and the, I think the songs kept, kept getting better. And we were very, we were very lucky around, um, around the year of, I think it was 1981, there happened to be an American record producer, a guy called Peter McKeon, who was in Australia at the time. He heard our songs and he said that he wanted to uh, produce us, which was great because he knew what he was doing in the studio. We did not. Okay. Did the record work in the United States or Europe or Australia first? It happened in Australia first and then different parts of Europe and different parts of the world. The United States was really the last country oh, to pick up on the band. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Well, you have uh, spoken at some length in recent interviews about reconfiguring as a solo songwriter. And uh, that's been an adventure. You even made a movie, a documentary was made about this process. So what could you tell us in brief about what led you to a number of records on Compass, including the current one that's coming out in March, Fierce Mercy? Well, I got dropped by MCA Records in 1991, and then I just kind of stumbled around for many, many years without an agent, without a record company for about 13 years. I was on my own, and I just kept touring, playing to uh, very few people, and it just kept growing. And I just, um, uh, Compass Records, who are based here in Nashville, they became interested in what I was doing around 2003, I think it was. How did you meet Gary and Allison? We love those guys. Did you they came to, to a show that I did down at uh, Thad came to a show uh, who works at Compass came to a show which was the, a place called the was it the Bellbird or something like that was there, was there, was there a place called Little Bell Buckle Tennessee way out there in the countryside no, or down was, here was, in Leapers Fork maybe down no at it was the in Nashville Buckle itself okay 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 I can't remember the name of the place yeah. but it's just a small place but you played a Nashville venue and they and um, uh, yeah I was just uh, I was making records and so they were um they expressed interest in working with me. So the first thing we did was a, a record called Man at Work, just to remind people of who I was. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember uh, that guy. Uh, acoustic versions of the Man at Work songs. Yeah. Very successful. Yeah. And then, so, look, we've got to ask about Fierce Mercy. It's not out yet. It's got a wonderful, whimsical cover with all kinds of little, uh, I'm sure, little sort of inside jokes for you. There's a, a little dog and there's a space shot and there's uh, all these kinds of cool things but what what is this song, uh, and it's a lot of moods musically too so what is this uh, record trying to sort of be a culmination for for you well the cover came from a dream but uh, it was a it was a very very specific dream that i had and it's probably too long and involved to go into here because you know what it's like when people say to you oh, i had a dream you immediately have to stifle a yawn you know <laughs> because you think at some point they're going to tell you what the dream was you know and it was a long dream and you go, oh. But it did involve um, all those things on the cover. Wow. Um, spacecraft and uh, trees with fruit with prices on them and uh, keepers of the orchard and uh, my little old West Highland Terrier that I used to have and all kinds of things. But I just explained it to, uh, to, the, guy, to the guy who was designing the cover, what the dream was, and that's what he came up with. That's wonderful. And there you are in the middle offering a flower up to the heavens or something. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. That's all, that's all I have to offer, really. And musically, it's, there's a lot of sweep on it. A lot of, uh, it's ambitious. It's beautiful. And there's a lot of uh, really sumptuous sound. So is, is, is that, was that a rather new soundscape for you? I, I like sumptuous. I'll take sumptuous. Okay. I, like, I like that as a word, and I would say that it is a sumptuous record. See? 
we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. And it's coming out March 3rd, folks. Fierce Mercy from Colin. Hey, one more time for Colin. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Jim Lauderdale takes it back over. All right. Nice, folks, you know, salt changed the world. Salt makes everything taste better. Salt is what makes the ocean smell so good and makes you float in it. And we literally can't live without it. Well, here's a salty bluegrass, new grass band we can't live without either. Please welcome back to Roots, Old Salt Union. Desperate course of action, stretching out its diaphragm and howling at the sea. My oh my, I was uninformed and forlorn, exhausting my supplies and looting enemies. All in all, I was moments shy of freedom, lacerate contentment for a glimpse of clarity. If so and so are still laughing over dinner, I rate and uncontrolled the waves and I'm afraid I've lied. To get you here and off my mind Where walls of oakum answer twine From hard at work and hard to find Better life But born in obsolete, a hoarder sort of dream Just skinning bones out of Hannibal, Missouri There it was, unoccupied, easy on the eyes All in all, I was moments shy of heartache Medicine and mescaline, shelter what's inside If so and so are still acting out a lifetime I rate and uncontrolled the waves and I'm afraid I've lied To get you here and off my where walls of oak amends are twined From hard at work and hard to find Better life Bye.
to get you here and off my mind The walls of old comments are swine From hard at work and hard to find So a better life Ooh, to a better City Roots, how are you? We're Old Salt Union from Belleville, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri. It's a real pleasure hanging out with y'all tonight. Bless your hearts.
guitar one time. Yeah. Rob Wallace should be playing a guitar too, wherever he is. Up in here. That's John Brighton on the fiddle one time, huh? That's uh, Justin Wallace on the mandolin. Huh? Ryan Murphy over there on the banjo. Huh? My name's Jesse Farrar. We're Old Saw Union from St. Louis, Missouri. It's a real pleasure hanging out with y'all tonight. Uh, we played the uh, Music City Roots about three years ago, two, two, two years ago. Two. And, uh, and uh, it's a real, real great pleasure to be back. Good pleasure seeing uh, Jim again. And, uh, and everybody here that works here, there's really nobody better than the folks that put this thing together. So, uh, so thank y'all so much for having us back. This song goes out to all the uh, unfaithful folks. <laughs> all right, I'm not putting this out to you. Um. story starts I'll tell you how this ends he'd step out to the back she put her lipstick on my neck she shouldn't have did that oh, no. whoa man up oh, man my hate has but your husband and a mouse bird won't got me counting my eyes. Whoa, man, I'm wrong. Man, my hate's had to ruin the fun. But your husband and a mouse bird won't got me counting my eyes. Petrified, I thought a corner eye it was Marguerite and Lace. She grabbed around its face and wrapped her legs around my waist. Man, a plum, man, my hate had to eat and run. But your husband and a mouse bird plum got me down in my eyes. Whoa, man, a plum, man, my hate had to wound the fun. But 
so much. I want to play one more tune for if you don't mind. If you like what you're hearing, uh, not only in the audience, but out there in Radio Land, you can find us at oldsaltunion.com. Um, we're on all the social media websites, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, backslash Old Salt Union. And, uh, we can't think of anything we'd rather be doing than sitting here playing music for y'all tonight. So thank y'all again, we appreciate it. <laughs> we can't think of nothing we'd rather be doing next to uh, playing music and drinking Blackstone beer. <laughs> St. Louis, sir, St. Louis, Missouri, right across the river. We're actually from a small town called Belleville, Illinois, which is about 10 miles across the Mississippi River and the Illinois side. St. Clair, St. Clair, Illinois. St. Clair County. St. Clair County. We're, we also go by the name of Jefferson County Airplane.
feel my love? Can you feel my love? Feel my love? Feel my love, pretty girl. I need to know when I'm gone. You feel my love? My bones try to smoke myself to sleep. Get low, I toss and I turn and I only think of I'm wide awake. I wonder if she thinks of me. I hope so, man. I get weary chasing power lines. Two lane roads in one night stay. I'm crossing rivers, choking county lines. To get to you, my pretty girl, I can't. Can you feel my love, feel my love, feel my love, pretty girl, I need to know when I'm gone, you feel my love. Let's hear it for Old Salt Union, everybody. Mighty fine. Thank y'all so much. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for being here. Old Salt Union, let's hear it for him again. <laughs> Oh, that was good stuff. That sure is. Old Salt Union. I wonder if yeah. they came up with that name, Old Salt Union. i got to uh, ask about that. Well, you know, it's funny, Keith. It's funny you ask. Uh, oh, you they know. Were, they were, yes. They oh. were looking for a name, and we were hanging out. And uh, I, I kind of suggested a few things, and uh, they didn't take any of mine, but that name came up when they were oh. talking about it. So, well, look, let me let you do your thing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know about him. Music City Roots receives support for this broadcast for businesses that are leaders in our community, like Nissan North America, makers of the 100% electric, no gas Nissan Leaf. Now, you folks watching online, you're seeing an amazing thing. You're seeing our friend Larry Nager showing off the roomy interior by packing his upright base in the back. Now, that's not amazing, but what's amazing is he's sitting on the front row, too. How do you do that? Or you can fit five passengers if you prefer. Every new Nissan Leaf in the United States comes from right here in Tennessee. The vehicle and battery plants are located in Smyrna and Deckard and Nissan North America World Headquarters right here in Franklin, Tennessee. You can see them as you go down I-65. 
Misad's proud to support local music and sports in our community, and we give them a great big thanks for supporting Music City Roots. Nissan, Nashville proud. And from Ascend Federal Credit Union, the preferred credit union of Middle Tennessee State University Athletics. Ascend offers convenient online account access, bill payment, statements with an app to access your accounts on the go. Visit ascendfcu.org to register for e-services from Ascend. Ascend Federal Credit Union, raising possibilities. Ascend's federally insured by the NCUA. Membership is limited. Here's a man who has a lot of money at Ascend, and thank goodness it's all insured. Yes, sir. That's Craig Havikhurst right over there. That be? Um, thank it's you, Keith Bilbrey, wishful, for the wishful thinking. Uh, they say it can't come true unless you imagine it to be true, right? So, folks, that was a great set from Old Salt Union. Please welcome Jesse and Ryan from the band. <laughs> much fun, much fun. I think there are three great names in contemporary bluegrass bands. The Infamous String Dusters is a great, ba great name. Dry Branch Fire Squad is a great name. Yeah, yeah. And Old Salt Union is oh, a great bless your band heart. name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. That's very original. Yeah, we're, we're growing into it. We're growing into it. <laughs> Talk about the origins then. So you're in Illinois and uh, near St. Louis, but were there a lot of pickers? I mean, where did you guys find each other and go, hey, you uh, like this music too? And how did it all come together? Yeah, it was kind of a slow process. Uh, we we kind of come from the blue collar uh, America factory working areas of, of, of Belleville, Illinois and East St. Louis and St. Louis. So uh, there's a lot of folks that stuck around from the... Uh, a lot of folks that stuck around from the blues era, a lot of folks that stuck around from the jazz era, and, and so uh, it all just kind of culminated into uh, us five stinky guys getting together and playing some music. So. <laughs> and did that start at like a club, open mic, home stuff? Uh, there was a couple other, uh, there was a couple um, um, ties that happened. Um, but uh, we're, just ha we're just happy it happened. There was some family that happened. There were some longtime friendships and uh, a lot of hometown, hometown Belleville love, so. Okay. How long ago did y'all really make this happen? Um, we, we've been uh, touring full time for, I guess, about three years now. Full time, been a band for four years. Um, we just recently, last September, we, we, we have a new guitar player edition, Rob Kendall, who was, who was yes. with us tonight. Tremendous job from Rob. Who, uh, he's, he's definitely fitting in well, you know. Um, it's nice to have some younger blood. He's 24, <laughs> and, you know, I'm 34, so we're. I'm young. <laughs> yeah, Jess <laughs> thinks he's young, but we'll do what we can about that. St. Louis uh, had a, a very vibrant kind of alternative country scene in the 90s and early 2000s, and there was actually a kind of a listserv early on in the birth of Americana that kind of was headquartered there. And what can you say about the, the St. Louis as a, as a jumping off point for forming a band? Yeah, well, uh, we can't say enough for bands like Uncle Tupelo and, and Sunvolt, um, you know, uh, that, that kind of broke the ground for uh, for blending genres of country music and, and, and other genres. So um, I think they kind of paved the way for us in a, in a, in a lot of ways. And uh, so we're just grateful to be from the same uh, zip code and area code. And uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to carry the torch. Cool. Uh, some really uh, elaborate playing there, some arrangement. Uh, you, do you have any uh, training on the bass, any classical background, yeah, jazz uh, background? Yeah, so uh, I, I was a jazz performance major um, at uh, Middle Illinois University. Um, actually, Rob, the new guitar player, was a, was a jazz performance major as well at, at Southern Illinois University. Um, and then John, our fiddle player, was a classical major at Southern Illinois. So, yeah. so uh, we kind of try to weave that stuff in and out. We kind of try great. to. That second tune, it sounded like. Uh, what uh, you know, sort of that Beatles, you know, when they brought the, the string uh, uh, septet in there. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and actually, uh, the, the second tune there, On My Way, we recorded at uh, Compass Records here in Nashville, Tennessee. There we go. Uh, Our friends are back there from Compass. And so, uh, so if you go to SoundCloud.com, and, and hopefully it'll be on our next record, um, but you can download it for free right now on SoundCloud.com. It's called On My Way. And, and Allison Brown was a fantastic producer on that record. Great. And uh, th can't say enough good words about them folks there, man. That's, that's nice. You. you know, so for folks who have not um, really looked at the, the evolution of how bluegrass music has pulled in all these threads, 
jazz, a little bit of classical, and reach the jam band world. If we were doing sort of a, you know, kind of a documentary here interview about what, what that big picture history, what's your little take on it? Well, I mean, you know, really the, the jazz and the blues, they, they were kind of what helped form uh, bluegrass in the beginning. So, you know, what we're really trying to do is, is to just re-expose those elements of the genre, you know, nice. to let it know that it branches from more than the hills, more than in your cities, more than in your homes and in your heads, it's everywhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> more than the hills, more than your heads. That's my new bumper sticker. You've just come back from the 30A Song Festival. That sounded like a good gig. Anything coming up that you're uh, excited about in the year ahead here? Man, yeah, there's, there's a lots, uh, lots of big things. You know, we just, uh, we're starting tour right now. We're heading up to the Northeast for the next few weeks. Um, we just signed with uh, Blue Sun, a new booking agency. And, good. you know, I um, look forward to, to putting out a new album this year. And, you know, there's some other big news we can't quite talk about at the moment. But right. if you pay attention to social media and OldSaltUnion.com, you will find out soon enough. That was concisely done, sir. <laughs> Old Salt Union, everybody. Let's have them back. Love it. Thank y'all so much. It's been an absolute Thanks, pleasure. Jesse. Thanks, Thank you, Jim. Ryan, and all the guys back there. Appreciate you. The music's rolling on, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Folks, we're always keeping our ears and eyes out for artists who are rocketing through the field of Americana and Roots music, making bold individual statements, and growing the audience for real deal music. In this case, real deal country music. From Denton, Texas. Folks, please welcome a guy everybody wants on their stage right now. Cody Jinks. Doors open when she smiles. Moves mountains with her mind She's on mine She's on mine She's that Fort Worth, Texas girl She's every girl in the world And she's on mine She's on mine The devil tells me lies most every night I don't want to do through the darkness She's my life She's an angel with no disguise I made her cry But she's still mine She's all mine If it can be done, son, she can She makes me a better man And she's all mine She's all mine
How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> We're gonna have a three song party here. Thank you guys for joining us. Love you too, brother. Yeah. 
can be a god parent song singing good time and sun and the sun of an SOB. I never said out to hurt anybody you see. I just said out to chase that song. Now it's chasing me. Let's go one more time. Thank you so much. It's good to be back in Nashville. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We appreciate it, man. Just had a little bit of time off, so I'm gonna shake the shake the dirt off a little bit. And I know it's a TV show, but if you guys want to sing this song, y'all go ahead and sing, all right? I cast no stone. I build no wall And I tell the truth the Truth comes to call And I try to walk That narrow way Sometimes I go over the lines and I won't make it back till the next day. But I cast no stones. What gives you the right to tell me my business? Talk with Jesus as much as I should. I don't read that good book every day like I could. I like to stop. At the end of the day And I pray that I hurt nobody Somebody new found their way And I cast no stones What gives you
What gives you the right To tell me my business Good God, man, you're out of your mind Cody Jinks, Cody Jinks, everybody. I want to hear one more. All right, Cody Jinks. All right, we'll do one more. Yeah. I'd rather I'd rather them come and say hey, do one more than hey, you went over. So I see we got some flockers in the house tonight. Man, we're well represented this evening, man. Thank you. I wish we had that much time. We're, we're sitting here deliberating all the time. Trunk on a bar 
bar stool on a Merle Haggard tomb. That's my kind of room. Raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys. They don't care about no trends. They don't care about songs and sex. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be gone. They don't care about songs that sell Yeah, tomorrow I'll be gone So tonight everybody just sing along Raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys And I'll be raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys Thank you so much. Cody Jenks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. Woo. Pretty good, huh? Woo. Skull alert, skull alert. Putting the skull on it. Man. Yeah. That's hey, what I'm talking about. Do you know, uh, you, of course, you've been out of town. You probably don't keep up with my radio show on WMOT. You listen to John Walker, then you turn it off. I know, I know. And you pick up with your witness, and, but you never listen to my show. But if you had, you're riding down the road, you're listening to whoever's on the radio, and you hear your song, but you don't recognize it. Who is that? What is that song? Well, we have a little fundraiser. You know, we're publicly supported. And there's a little thing called metadata. Mm -hmm. And it takes that song, and it, right there on your radio dial, it has the name and the artist. Mm -hmm. So they can go out and buy Jim Lauderdale. But we need everybody's help to get this done. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. If you will donate $120 to WMOT, we're going to be able to buy that thing and see how your profits go up when well, they I'll know. I'll tell you that's, what, if that only you. costs $120, I'm no, sure I can get some of my friends together and we can come up with $120, can't we, folks? It's $120 a donation. It costs a lot more than that. So we that's actually not need, bad. That's we, not bad. We though, actually need 89.5 people to do that. That's great. Well, I think we can get start. 89.5 people. Yeah. Now, if you donate, well, there's something in it for you, too. You'll get to see a special show with Delbert McClinton on the 27th of this month. You know how much fun that's going to be. So become a donor. Just go to WMOT.org. It's a very private show. They won't even let us in because we don't have $120 to donate. But uh, anyway, well, we might let you in. 
Well, I'll tell you what, Keith. Speaking of metadata, is that how you pronounce it? Metadata. Yeah, metadata, metadata. You're the guy. You put the met into metadata. Ah, Keith Melbury, ladies and gentlemen. It's like you put the try and contry. Once again, let's... Man, what a great set, Cody. Let's go over to Craig Havaker. We'll chat with him in two seconds after I tell you and everybody on the air that you are listening to WMOT Roots Radio 89.5, Murfreesboro, Nashville. And uh, with that out of the way, let me introduce you one more time for a few words with Cody Jenks. We love him. Hey, guys. <laughs> How's it going? Great to meet you, Cody. Great Good to, to meet, meet you. you and hear you live in person. I've enjoyed your recordings, and this, this uh, current one, I'm Not the Devil, has had wonderful success. So uh, it, it, it would appear from looking uh, from a distance that you have been just uh, pounding it about a half a dozen albums under your belt, I'm sure thousands, hundreds of thousands of miles. This record suddenly, bam, uh, hit the Billboard charts right near the top, sold more than 10,000 copies the first week out, and it just must feel really good. What do you think, we call, we talk about tipping points. Do you feel like there was something that happened where the audience you'd been building finally kind of... Yeah. No, man, I'm, I'm an overnight success. That's, <laughs> what, that's all. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, with this, this last record's been really, really good to us. Um, you know, we went in and we found a home at the Sonic Ranch where we recorded uh, the Adobe Sessions record and, and knew that we, you know, we had a good chance of making lightning strike twice when we went back out there to, to do the I'm Not the Devil record. And, you know, I couldn't be more thankful, you know, to the, to the guys that I have around me, you know, guys, guys on the stage, the, you know, I just have a great team. I have, you know, the, all my management and, you know, it's, it's a team effort. There's a lot of people that, that make me look good, you know, so <laughs> thank you to them for helping me make that record. It is also the scene that you sang about in that last song. It is honky-tonks all across America where country music lives and breathes. Um, what's your observations about that world? Because sometimes that world, you have to go to it to get it, you know? Yeah, you know, well, we, we did every, we've done everything grassroots. Um, we just hit the road, you know, many, many years ago. And uh, we just started making records on our own to see if they'd stick. And we felt like... You know, throughout touring, you know, the United States, if uh, if our records were sticking without having all the major, le uh, you know, label support and all that, then we were doing something right. And you know, fortunately, we've uh, we've been able to to you know do things our way. And right on. You know, it's been great. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, you're from the Fort Worth area, by the way. Texas. Yeah. 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 Fort Worth, Texas. And. Uh, <laughs> right. As I read the bio, you spent not, not a small number of years playing metal music. And thankfully, you didn't blow out your, your vocal cords and your, and your ears. But uh, talk about the transition and about what, what finally kind of felt like uh, country and the lyric-driven thing was, was home again for you. You know, it started with me. I had a, a really good... Uh, uh, foundation for all kinds of music whenever I was a kid. My mom and dad, we had everything in the house from Percy Sledge to Black Sabbath. So, you know, and, and Merle Haggard to Led Zeppelin and all that, you know. So I, I had that and um, I learned to play guitar uh, country songs my dad taught me years ago, you know. And uh, when I was a, a teenager and, you know, full of angst and, and the, the whole teenage thing, why, why we all get into metal, those of us that do. I did that for six or seven years. We had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Um, but that band broke up, and you know, I, I took about a year off from doing anything live. And the the songs that I was uh, that I was coming up with were uh, country songs. And I tell people, you know, it's kind of funny. I, I'm one of the only people I I know that didn't mean to be in a country band. It just kind of happened. Okay. So, but it was a full circle thing. Texas is both uh, well. It's not one sound, but it's got sounds like. This, it's got Western Swing dance hall. It's got honky tonk and, you know, the derailers and that kind of vibe. The, even the West Coast uh, sound has has fueled there. But it's also a songwriting state like no other. It's a state with ta the produced Towns Van Zant and Joe Ely and Guy Clark. Uh, how did those traditions come together for you? The songwriter aspect is is the the is the number one priority. You know. Um, that's that's my job, you know. Mm -hmm. That my job is to to write songs, and uh, whether I sing them or somebody else sings them. But yeah, the uh, the lineage that we have, you know, as far as uh, great Texas writers like Towns and Guy, you know, and all of them, 
Um, you know, you can't ever follow those. You know, you can you can listen to them and and, and pick up things and obviously uh, yep. rob them and steal mm -hmm. from them. But uh, every writer is double every, stealing in their time. If you're that's, not stealing, you're not trying. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you know, I, I appreciate the, the lineage from there and, and being a songwriter is the most important thing. Very, very nice. What do you think's coming up here in 2017 that you would point folks to? Um, we're gonna be, well, we're gonna be out on the road a lot. Yeah. Uh, we'll cover the entire United States this year. I looked at your tour schedule, just what you've got up now is insane. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is. But we, it must be fun. We just, had, we just had a few weeks off, got the, uh, got okay. the batteries recharged, and uh, we'll, we'll spend a few days here in Nashville, and then we'll uh, head out for a West Coast run and come home for uh, about a month, and then we'll go tackle the East Coast, and in between there, try to get into the studio and okay. start cutting some new stuff. Great. Well, you've also got a spectacular band. Everybody's just working on absolutely like a well-oiled well machine, so congratulations on that, too. They are. They're, they're wonderful. Thank you. Cody Jinx, folks. He will, yep. He will be back after this last set. We're going to dial things down back to the songwriter tone, and then we got a big Nashville jam at the end, and Cody will be back for that, so stick around. Jim Lauderdale. Everybody doing okay out there? You having a good time tonight at Music City Roots? What a night. Well, folks, we've got a bonus fifth artist up here right now, and it's a visit we've been hoping for for a long time. This guy has toured the world many times over, and changed the sound of radio and MTV in the 80s with his blow-up band, Men at Work. Now, yeah. Now, since those days, he's been admired as a wide-reaching songwriter, and he's got new music coming very soon. An album from our friends at Compass Records called Fierce Mercy. Please give a warm welcome to Colin Hay. Nice to be in your town. I'm not from around here. It's nice though, isn't it? It's nice around here. I'll play you a couple of tunes. I'll play you some new songs. I know you like old songs, but you know, it's nice to have new songs now and again. You have to go on with your life. This, this song's got a chorus, which is a handy thing for a song to have. I'll play it for you, and then you, I'll sing it for you, and then if you feel like singing it when it comes around, you can help me sing it, and you'll know when it's going to come around, because I'll do this. Chorus goes like this. Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Pretty easy. Tumbling down. Try that. Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Ready? Come tumbling down, come 
tumbling, come tumbling, come tumbling down. I'm not a drinking man no more, but this is one night I got lost. I've never been much of a dancer, but this night I surely was. I made it out to the cottonwood, slept with my ear down to the ground. And in my dreams I could hear the screams as it all came tumbling down. Come tumbling down. Come tumbling down. Come tumbling. Come tumbling. Come tumbling down. The corridors are all empty and there's a child sitting on the stairs. Seeing everything that is to see Somehow she still cares It took a ride on the Ferris wheel Made of glass and steel and such and Now it's melting in the sun It's not worth all that much With our hands up to the sky As we climb to higher ground Let's just keep on dancing Till it all comes tumbling down Come tumbling down Come tumbling down Come tumbling Come tumbling Come tumbling down Come tumbling down Come tumbling down Come tumbling Come tumbling Come tumbling down I'm on tour. Everybody's, everybody from who lives in Nashville goes on tour. I go home on Monday, so it's not really that much of a tour. I've got no idea what those things do. <laughs> you all right? You okay? <laughs> Can I just have a wee bit more of the dry one? That's technical talk, doesn't concern you. And you give me a thousand million reasons 
why we're still alone And you give me a thousand million reasons Where life goes on and on Walk up here in heaven Floating round the sun I count down from eleven All the way to one And you give me A thousand million reasons Why we're not alone And you give me A thousand million reasons Where life goes on and on And in this world Truth be told We're the lucky ones And if we find someone To love Until we fade away Into the rise And fall of each And every night and day Together Breathe into the wind And you give me A thousand million reasons Why we're not alone And you give me A thousand million reasons Where life goes on and on And you give me A thousand million reasons Why we're not alone And you give me Thank you very much. Some time ago In this very room There's many who have come and gone Maybe one more soon Seasons come and Seasons go Some talking in between Staring out the window now At all that I have been Someone is singing some crazy song On the paint-stained radio My hands, they are ringing as I gaze upon These frozen fields of snow Father was a violent man He died in 63 My mother broke her silence then She looked after me We dug a deep well for water She told me water makes you free 
She lost her only daughter Her name was Mary Lee They called me up and threw me in There I lost my heart I forget where I have been Till I wake up in the dark I heard a voice calling oh. I heard a voice calling As my blood began to flow My mama was calling and beckoning From the frozen fields of snow Something out there's going to ground Lying under open skies Birds of prey come swooping down Picking at their eyes Springtime is coming and it's none too soon. Ah, springtime is <laughs> springtime is springtime is coming. Springtime is coming and it's none too soon. Secrets are whispering In this fading light I have killed and I have loved Time it will decide Well, I had a crack at it, but it'll get better. Things will change for the better You can't live without the dream of someone reading your letter We've had dust storms before and spit out the dirt We've had droughts before but none quite like this We've had winds that cut up your face all to pieces Like blizzards that stripped all the paint off your car like twisters, no sisters of mercy They come with no warning, only that sound God is roaring drunk and out on the town but Next year everything will come good The rains they will fall and we'll dance on the hood We'll fill up our bellies with plentiful food We'll eat, drink, and be merry And next year, people, wait and see We're next year, people, you and me Henry 
got hit by lightning twice in the head He stood and walked away, we thought he was dead Now he talks funny, he says he's wired to the sky No one knows why They came and wrote things down on paper We all went outside and just stood around We were glad when they left They brought nothing but heartache And the seed we had planted had stayed in the ground But next year everything will come good The rains they will fall and we'll dance on the hood We'll fill up our bellies with plentiful food We'll eat, drink and be merry Yeah, next year people, wait and see When next year people, you and me Try endless planes and we suffer the worst Are we being punished or are we just cursed? It's almost ten years and no drop of rain Only mocking blue skies bringing more of the same Our mother was crying when they sent us to stay With strangers in a town and we both ran away Back to the dust and see Henry again We're creatures who have it, don't you know But next year everything will come good The rains they will fall and we'll dance on the road We'll fill up our bellies with plentiful food We'll eat, drink and be merry Yeah, next year people, wait and see We're next year people, you and me Next year, people, wait and see. When next year, people, you and me. Lane. I'm 
walking in my old footsteps once again And you say Just be here now Forget about the past Your mask is wearing thin Just let me throw one more dive I know that I can win I'm waiting for my real life to begin Cause any minute now My ship is coming in I'll keep checking the horizon And I check my machine The shore to be that cold Gonna happen soon, soon, or so very soon. Just the times are lean, and you say, Be still, my love. Open up your heart, let the light shine in. Don't you understand? My real life to begin But on a clear day, I can see, see for a long way. Yeah, on a clear day, I can see. Thank you. Colin Hay, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Colin Hay. Yeah. Woo. I'll tell you what, man. We've been waiting for a long time to get him. What a night. What a night. Yeah. It's good stuff. Are you going to talk it? No, you toss it to Craig over there. Uh, Craig. Craig. He just yes. loves him some Keith Bilby. Craig. Well, hey, they I love a, me some they have, Craig they have Havikers, too. You should spend more time Craig, on this you side are looking more and more like a young Ernest Hemingway, isn't he, <laughs> folks? Huh? I'm yeah. going to go try to write simple, beautiful sentences well, that last thousands of years. You already do. Oh, thank you, buddy. Folks, it's been a great night at Music City Roots. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming out tonight in middle of winter for our second show of 2017. Big props and thanks to all our artists in the Blackstone lineup tonight. Colin Hay, Cody Jinks, Old Salt Union, Jesse Kramer, and Peter Case. Yeah. Let's give them a big round of applause. They are all coming out. 
for our final jam. I don't know what they have chosen. I think we've got a little contest that maybe our chat room folks have uh, chimed in on. And we're going to find out what that song is real shortly. We've, we're going to be back here next week. we got a great winter season ahead. We're going to be hearing from a band called Waker. Bunch of cra they look crazy, and they, uh, they rock out. Southern Avenue brings back uh, blues guitarist Ori Nataf Naftali. Hard to say, but easy to listen to with his new project. Uh, Cicada Rhythm is an amazing duo that I think you will love. And we're going to be hearing some 80s and 90s country from the band Exile. Oh, you probably yeah. had some experience with Exile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. And uh, tickets are on sale at musiccityroots.com. Please visit the website. Please check out the details on the big band special on Saturday, Saturday February 11th, bright before Valentine's Day. And uh, also make sure y'all come see our, just all the crew on Finally Fridays at the Family Wash. We're having a great time out there. Your witness is uh, hosting, but there's always fascinating guests and a lot of the folks from Roots Radio and Music City Roots kind of hang out there. And big special Roots Music event on Friday night at the City Winery, Keith. You know what's yes, going on? Yes, you know what's I going think. on? Dr. Yeah. John yeah. is playing at the City Winery. So I try to keep you up on what's going on. That's, that's what's going on. That's going to be good. Now, yeah. you can talk about jam as long as it takes to get everybody else back out here yeah. on the stage. Well, by the way, Exile's going to be with your witness on Friday at Family Wash. And they're celebrating 40 years together as a band. So I understand that they were like a rock band out of yeah. Kentucky way back when. Want to kiss you all over? That was their Well, before hit. that. Yeah. When I was in the cradle listening to those guys. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Your hey, first so influence. Quick. By the way, I want to recognize my sister-in-law is here, Sherry Bellinfoot, and she was our team captain the two times we were on Family Feud, and she's the reason we never made a point, but she was very funny. <laughs> and people, uh, people always said, boy, your, your mother-in-law is hilarious. For some reason, she didn't like that. I don't know. She's actually my sister-in-law. Sherry, it's good to have you here tonight. And uh, I hold in my hand the Six Pepper Jelly from Nashville Jam Company. Thanks to Nashville Jam Company for sponsoring this final segment. These jams are all natural, made right here locally with love. Nashville Jam, also available at your local grocer or specialty market. And our Nashville Jam song winner, winner as you mentioned earlier, uh, it was Mondo Jeff. And he's won twice in a row. He from, wins a lot. Yeah, from Alabama. He knows his music. From Alabama, loves the Osborne brothers, the Mavericks, but not simultaneously. Likes the <laughs> chat room, and uh, but misses something. I, I can't read. I can't read the writing here. But he misses somebody. Anyway, I'm sorry <laughs> about that. And uh, we want to stand up right now and get the man back to center stage. Uh, I'm stalling because, as usual, he was backstage polishing yeah, his Grammy. Hey, would stretch, you would you welcome once again stretch it out the here. host stretch. of our show, Jim <laughs> Lauderdale? Uh, Jim Lauderdale. Start once again, Jim Lauderdale. He's pulling a George Martin over here. He's producing, arranging, orchestrating as, uh, as he has to do every it's week. Not this easy is an impressive that... job. I mean, yeah. we, you know, it's hard enough writing great songs, making, making like six albums a year, yeah. uh, and, then, and then hosting the show and reading introductions written by, you know, very beautifully written I introductions. Know. I don't know who does those, but, but, but they're good. They, you notice they're, they're, good. Good. they're good. Peter Cooper you know never what? has hey, this problem. Did you just watch the Twilight here. Zone uh, oh, yeah. thing do, do, over do, do, the... Do, 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 remember the do, 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 one where the kid do, 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 goes, where everybody everybody's afraid of him, they go, that's good. That's real good. That's good. <laughs> that's what you guys are making me feel like. You're making me feel like that kid. That's good. I'm going to make you guys go to the corn. <laughs> as okay. long as you make it feel young, Jim. All right, let's get on to the music. Have y'all had fun? Yeah. yeah. This has been an incredible night, I'll tell you. How about some Merle Haggard, huh? Yeah. Could be holding you tonight. 
quit doing wrong, start doing right. You don't care what I think. I think I'll just stay here and drink. Burn it down, don't square no At least you know how I feel. Take all money in the bank. Lord, I'll just stay ahead of time. And you can hear that lamp jute bar ringing in my head. Ain't no one gonna change the way I think. Think I'll just stay here and drink. They heard me now on main thing. Since love ain't here, don't feel no pain. Ain't nothing but a total blank Think I'll just stay here and drink See you next week here at Music City Roots. Oh, great job. Great night. Music City Roots is a production of Hang Dye Media. The jam continues tonight at Kimbrough's Pickin' Parlor in Franklin. Stop by for a nightcap, a snack, and bring your instruments. We're all going there now for a Blackstone beer and a song or two. I'm Keith Bilbrey from the edge of Music City. Good night, everybody.